what's up this is Simon from the Ionic Academy. In this video I will show you how you can use Ionic 4 and different routing mechanisms. So we will implement routing for uh, standard pages with a path, um, we will add modal pages and we will also use the popover page. And also we will see how we can pass data to the different types of pages in our app because some things have changed, some are still more or less the same but we will see how all of this works inside our example app in the end. So let's get to it. I've already created a blank new Ionic app and I'm currently using the beta version. So I have to specify dash dash type angular to create the project. Once you're in your project, you can go ahead and simply say Ionic generate page pages second. So we just add a few pages for our app. So second page, a modal page, and finally also a popover page. Okay, great. So now I will start my Ionic surf in the background and we can continue. Um, first of all, let's check our routing because, um, okay, thanks coming up. Well, let's see. Okay, because um, when you generate the pages, they will be automatically added to the route, uh, routing with their name. And we actually don't need the routing for the modal and the popover page. So remove that. And also for the second page, we want to pass some parameters through with the ID. And therefore we change this to include my ID and that's what we're going to set in our uh, pages when we navigate to the second page then. Okay, um, back to the app module where we also need a minor change because um, the modal page and the popover page are more or less a bit out of the scope of our app. They don't really have a path. Um, we need to include them here and later on call them uh, with the create function of the modal controller or popover controller. Perhaps those things might change. So currently you can only really use the component, maybe with lazy loading implemented for them. It might work in the future. Um, so give it a try then. But for now, if it's not included, you need to include the modal page module and also the popover page module. All right, so let's go to our homepage. In the home page, um, we basically need a few buttons. Uh, let's call this ion params and an input so we can um, set a value that we then pass to the following pages, modal, whatever it will be. So let's call this value. And if you want, you can also add something like clear input, which automatically uh, shows this little clear icon and perhaps wrap everything inside an ion item. So then we need a bunch of buttons. I will give them expand full. So previously it was only full, but um, perhaps I should stop the references to the old Ionic version. Um, now let's do, um, let's finish them and then add the functions. So we will have different ways to push um, pages, models, popovers, whatever. So this will be just like before with a click event, which calls push page. And let's just call this um, push with function. Then we want to um, show our model. So let's call this open model. And also we assign a click function open model. And finally, the last one is open popover. And this one, again, click open popover. And here we also pass the click event in, so the popover can be placed correctly on the screen. Now I have left out this one because I want to push the second page with router. So those two will actually have the same effect, but they will work differently. And for this, you can use directly the router link in here and you just create an array of segments of the URL. So in our case, first one is second and then value. So let's uh, see why. 
if we go back to the app routing we see that this is the path for the second page and this is what we want to create with this router link so we create a link to slash second slash value those will be constructed together and then we will be on the second page and as the router link um, is not always certain in which direction we are navigating we can also add router direction forward so then the router knows uh, it's a forward navigation the next day um, the next page will be pushed onto our stack of pages so let's add the functions push page open model and open popover um, with the event all right and also we don't have a constructor so let's change this inside the constructor we now need a few dependencies so what we need first is the nav controller um, it looks like the navigation controller from ionic 3 but it will actually work a bit different we need of course the modal controller and today i learned um, that there's actually no difference because in the documentation previously it was always like this and now it is controller it's just more user friendly if we write the name out um, especially for beginners but of course you can also call this like we did previously and finally the popover controller popover controller and there we go so now let's take a look with the push page we want to push to the next page previously we would have done something like this this enough push next page now we see there's actually no push but only go back go forward go root which are more or less the same like before so we will use go forward if we want to push to a new page and then we just say the same url we used with the router link and now uh, let's add a value here and then this start value and close it so now this has exactly the same effect like using our router link uh, with this command so different ways to use it um, choose whatever you like for the model um, it's a bit different first of all we um, have to use it a bit different uh, with async and await but no problem we just await the creation of our modal controller and in here we first of all need to oops pass the component and the component was previously sometimes just the string name of the page with lazy loading and this is what currently is not working as far as i know but still i'm on beta 1 currently um, so be aware perhaps it's working already therefore i need to use modal page and it is imported here and that's also the reason we have it in the top module so it is available at this point if we want to pass some options to the next page we can use the component props for this and therefore we can set whatever we like and we want to pass our own custom value to the next page so we await until the model is finished and then we can also call await model dot present but i think we actually don't need another await in here and now for the popover it's actually mostly the same it's popover controller create the component is now of course the popover page uh, the component props and let's call this popover um, what's wrong why do you complain um, i think just because the event is missing yes so the event is what you pass into the popover creation um, so the page knows where to position the popover and then of course same like before present and we can again use the component props okay so we have the creation in place and actually the routing should already work we can go to the second page we can again go to the second page we can open a modal uh, we cannot go back 
and we can open the popover. Perfect. Now the second part is to go to all of those pages and grab the data we have passed to them. So therefore, uh, let's start with our second page. Um, for this, we have the path and remember the route in place where we can grab uh, the information. Um, to do so, we add activated root, activated root, and again, make sure your import path is like this. And then inside your uh, ng on init, I will just always make this one null. Here we can set our ID to the activated root um, snapshot paramap dot get so a bit tricky and my ID which is exactly the token you have used in here so you could also have another ID and uh, again more so you can pass all kinds of uh, information here but be aware that you don't really want to send JSON objects to the next page um, because Yes, you can uh, call JSON stringify on your objects and then append them to the path, but that actually looks very bad. So therefore, um, just send the ID, have a service that can resolve the ID to the object, and then everything works a lot better. So um, the HTML for that page is actually not super interesting. Um, we just want to give out the ID and perhaps this part might be interesting. So the back button is not uh, by default added once you go to the next page. We have to do it on our own and we can also set default href if you want to, um, which will then be displayed even if you start on that page. So let's see, um, I can change this to whatever and now I get to the second page, I got the back button and it works again with both. And as you can see, this is now the URL and even if I go back at this and load this, we get the back button because we have set the default href for the back button. Now, of course, it's zero again, but again, all the information is passed to the page on two different ways. Pick what uh, works for you. Okay, so now um, on to the modal and the modal and popover are again, more or less the same because we can use the private nav params and this is what we did with ionic 3 a lot um, all the information to the pages was passed uh, with this information so past id null again and then simply say past id this nav params get and i think it was custom id i passed to that page so give this out and inside the view, um, again, not really super interesting. I'll just add this and also have a footer with a close modal button. Um, so not in the header bar. I just wanted to do something different in this example because otherwise it would be too boring. And to close the modal again, we can inject the modal controller modal controller and then simply go ahead this modal controller dismiss um, and also as you can see we can also say get top which will give us the most top or whatever uh, modal that is active if you're working with multiple um, modals but in our case we only have one so calling dismiss should work and let's see we change the ID and we open it and there's the ID and close. And as you can see, compared to the regular pages where we got the information in the URL, the model is actually out of the scope, lying above our page. So no routing information there. We can simply use the nav params. Okay, finally the popover. In here, again, private nav params enough params oh now the import is right um, very strange and just like we did before with the modal controller you can do the same with the popover controller so if you inject it here 
you could have a function close popover which calls popover controller dismiss and again if you have multiple popovers uh, make sure you get the right one past id is null and then oh, come on let me copy this like this same again um, now for the view of a popover page um, a popover is actually not using this header and content stuff you just have uh, whatever you put in there most of the time it will be an ion list with items so I added this dummy icon uh, item and also the popover button so let's save this once again and there we go our popover is opened from the button um, we see the ID which we can also change we can also click on the background to dismiss it but we can also hit the button so this would be useful if there's a popover you select an entry and then you want to dismiss the popover from code okay once again push with router link um, adds the information to the URL push with a function still uses the router link in the header uh, in the URL bar modal out of scope use nav params and popover also out of scope use nav params all right so that's how you can uh, create show and pass data to different pages models and popovers with ionic 4 um, some things have changed but most of the time uh, everything still works like you expected only make sure that you uh, don't put your big objects into the URL pass, which will look really ugly, although you don't see it on a device. Um, it's not really best practice to do it like this. Um, simply push the ID for whatever detail of list item and then have a service that can get you the object for a specific ID. Perhaps use a resolve service. There's another tutorial on this inside the Ionic Academy. So check that out um, on how to use a resolver. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's actually one of the hottest days in Germany, so I'm happy I could finish this video in time without breaking together. I hope you enjoy Ionic 4 just as I do. And if you do, make sure to check out the ionicacademy.com, uh, which is my own coding school with Ionic courses, projects, and a great community to help you learn Ionic as fast as possible. So I'd love to see you inside and of course inside the next video. So have a great day and take care.